Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. This morning I have taken the day off work because I can't be bothered and I want to go walking in the hills. So we are here on the eastern fringes of Cheshire. We are parked up in Pimchair Car Park and we're going to go up Shining Tor. Uh, the weather is amazing. Uh, I can't see a single cloud and the sun is already beaten down. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning so I am definitely going to need to use my new hat and uh, let's get walking, let's see what we can find. So we are parked in Pimchair Car Park and we're going to go up and do the Hill of Shining Tour and maybe go back down and look around the edges of some of the reservoirs as well. The weather is fantastic and oh, you can see for miles, it's absolutely incredible. So we're about to go through a gate, head on up towards Shining Tour, let's see what views we can get from the top. So it's 25 past 8 in the morning, we've just come up the side of Cat's Tor, we're about to go to Shining Tor which is ahead of us over there, we need to dip down before we do that. The views are amazing because it is so clear, you can see Jodrell Bank in the distance over there, you can see the towers of Manchester in the distance over there, you can see all of the hills behind me which I realise you probably can't see because of the sun. Uh, but it is absolutely boiling and my hat is coming in very useful, but anyway we shall press on and uh, see if we can find, I hope there's a trig or something or a cairn at the top of Shining Tor, aptly named today Shining Tor, but anyway, see what we can see. Someone has very kindly put in a flagstone path going up the side of Shining Tor from Cat's Tor. But it's like the never ending staircase to Mordor. It just keeps on going up and up and up and it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. When will it end? <laughs> Okay team, we are at the top of Shining Tor. We've bagged the trig and now we're having a sit down and a drink because it's hot. But we're on an edge and there's a bit of a breeze coming over the top which is quite nice, cooling us off a little bit with our backs to the sun. Uh, we're going to go back down towards some forests and towards a reservoir as well and see what else we can find. So, let's carry on. <laughs>
So we have come down Shining Tor, we've come up a little bit, right along a little bit, and now we're going further down the side of the hill towards, I assume, I can't quite remember, towards a reservoir. Uh, I can't remember what it's called because this route that we're doing isn't a specific one in the Ordnance Survey outstanding circular walks that we normally do. This is um, one that we've kind of cobbled together off our own knowledge of the area and various walks that we've done about the place. The advantage of Pimchair Car Park is it's free and there are loads and loads of pathways and routes all around this place so you can kind of pick and choose your direction as you want as long as you've got a good sense of direction uh, and at a push you can always get the Ordnance Survey app on your phone in case you get really lost. At a massive push you could perhaps even use Google Maps although not recommended. So let's carry on and see if we can find this reservoir. come down off the hill into a gorgeous plantation woodland and I believe there's actually a little river over there and I have to say it's quite nice to be in the shade and out of the sun. It's so hot today. It's only just gone 10 a.m. and it's already what 25 30 degrees something like that. Bit hot for walking but we shall forge on with our stiff upper lip and British spirit and um, see what else we can find. Carrying on. completely forgotten about that waterfall, completely misremembered it and also completely misremembered the fact that we need to walk along the river for quite a long way before we actually reach the reservoir. Uh, the vegetation around here is lush and gorgeous and so green and honestly this walk is one of my favourites. Then again I say that about every walk but there we go. Uh, it's just a good day for it to be fair, the sun is still shining and I still can barely see a cloud in the sky. So we're going to walk along the side of this river and uh, see if we can find this reservoir. We finally made it all the way down the hill, all the way along the river and through the forest and we are now right by the side of Irwood Reservoir and it is absolutely glorious today, sparkling water, the geese are bobbing along nicely, absolutely gorgeous place. But we are going to go back up the hill now and we're going to try and go along an edge back towards the car so we will continue, see what else we can find before we finish off the walk. Okay guys, it's 20 to 12 and it's really starting to beat down now the sun. So we keep stopping under 
shady trees and we're coming our way up now to Foxlow Edge which is just before Pimchair and the car so we're not far now a couple of kilometers maybe mile and a half for those of you that don't do metric uh, but yes hot guys and that is that that is the walk we've just come down from Foxlow Edge we're just heading up a path by the side of the road back up to Pimchair car park where we've left the car I'll repeat Pimchair car park is free uh, we're here on a Monday and we haven't struggled with busyness but if you're coming on a weekend once again recommendation is get here early because it's free uh, the route was absolutely phenomenal it is like I said before it's not one that's in the Ordnance Survey Circular Walks books like we usually do. It is one that we've cobbled together from our memory, from our knowledge of the local area, etc. If you want the route, drop us an email, you can find it on our About page and I will be happy to share it with you. Um, but enough rambling from me, that walk was phenomenal. We'll see you next week. So we have come down the side of Shining Tor, up a little... Uh, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.